David, thanks so much. And as David was just saying, we may have another round of some kind of frozen precipitation, that wind from X moving our, air, moving our way, and that could have you slipping and sliding as you're walking to and from your car. That's right. And weather-related injuries are not uncommon when snow and ice are on the ground. Today, News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence found out who could be liable for any injuries you sustain depending on where they happen. She joins us now, live. With that story. Well, guys, here I'm at a house where you can see it would be easy to slip if it were covered in ice. Today I talked to an attorney who told me what grounds you need to be able to sue someone and how to protect yourself from getting sued. Ice and get hurt, but you feel someone else should foot the bill. Maybe if it was a serious accident and medical bills, I would. Attorney he says he's seen many cases like this. It's not uncommon in this area during severe winter weather uh, uh, for people to have these types of injuries uh, when they're going to businesses. But what if someone gets hurt outside your home? If you invited them there, then you have a duty to let them know if there are any hazards that could represent an injury to them. Remo Abdullah says that's fair. I would tell them. I, I mean, I hope they will see it for themselves. He says if a hazard is prominent, that could be a homeowner's defense. If it's completely apparent that this ice is there, people are expected to take responsibility for their own safety. Chancy says sometimes elderly people have nurses and neighbors coming to help them. Well, if you know someone's coming to your house, I would advise you to tell them that you know there's some ice out there and they need to be extra careful. His last piece of advice, don't always assume someone else will be responsible for your injuries sort of the myth that that people are automatically responsible for your injuries on their property. That's really not true. Abdullah admits even if he had the grounds, he'd have a tough time suing on private property. I don't know. That's toughy right there. That's a toughie. I can't do you like that. Chancy tells me another good way to keep from getting sued is to treat your walkways and steps with some salt. Live in Chattanooga, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Hannah, thank you again. That snow and ice mix could start overnight into tomorrow morning.